One of the accused Camille nightclub shooters is in court. His attorney tells us that there are too many questions calling the case weak. Nine of your sides, Evan Millward, is in the newsroom with the very latest on what happened. Evan, what can you tell us? Tamika Cornell Beckley is back in jail right now. He's being held there on a $1.7 million bond. That's symbolic. It is $100,000 for each of the 17 Cameo nightclub shooting victims. Beckley's attorney says he voluntarily talked to Cincinnati police twice and has all along denied being involved. Beckley has a prior history. Prosecutors said today he did time for assault for firing a rifle into a home in 2007. Police haven't clarified what they believe Beckley's role Sunday morning was. He is one of two men charged with murder for O'Brien Spike's death inside Cameo nightclub. And that is what his attorney argued in court. It's hard to determine who actually fired the shot who killed this young man. How can you charge two people with firing one bullet? He was only struck one time. There's a lot of things about this case that does not make sense. Um, and right now, based on my acquaintance with the case, until or unless you extract that projectile from the decedent and you match that projectile to a gun and you match that gun to a defendant, particularly my client, I think this is a fundamentally weak case. Strong words there from Clyde Bennett. Uh, Devon Davis, the other man charged in this case, is still on a ventilator at the hospital. He was also shot inside the club. In the newsroom, I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side. Evan, thank you so much. And uh, Cameo Nightclub has officially closed its doors. The nightclub issued a statement after the shooting saying it would be closing for good.